Hello everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Alright, so last episode we built this huge furnace array. And it seems to be working very well so far. Um, but I did want to build a third one. Well, I had said that I wanted to check or to make this one copper, the second line copper, but I do think I am going to need it to be iron. So yeah, let's, I think let's just build a third line. I still have tons of furnaces. Um, I'm going to need belts. Let's make, I don't know, just a whole bunch of those. And then I'm also going to need inserters. And long inserters, and oh, I'm almost out of power poles. Can I... Someone mentioned in the comments last, in one of the last videos, that wood is only something you need early game. I don't know if I'm still considered in the early game or not. I probably am. But, um, I think you can make electric power poles, right? Yeah. That's what these guys are. Ooh, but that takes 120 green science packs. I am not in a position to do any research at the moment. So unfortunately, I guess that means I'm gonna have to go chop down some more trees, which I don't really wanna do, but I guess I need to. Um, let me look at the map. Oh my gosh, this biter nest has gotten bigger oh and was there just an attack right down here oh sure enough there was oh, okay oh boy um oh it looks like they're moving out there might be more coming well maybe that's just biters not actual nests I wonder if there's more here that I can't see. Um, you know, before we get too far, I think I should go take care of that. Um, let me go grab some more ammo. I don't know if 200 magazines is enough. I think all these machines over here I left, so they're actually still working. Yeah, it looks like it's still making magazines. Yeah, we've got, we've got some, okay. Good. Uh, let me put these on my hotbar too, just in case I need quick access to them. And let me hit tab and we'll switch to our submachine gun. And yeah, let's go check this out down here. Oh, uh, before I go, actually, another person mentioned you can get fish to heal yourself. And I don't think you need a fishing pole or anything. I think you just click the water. So let's try that. Uh, are these the fish? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, they're raw though. Uh, can I get them this far away? I can. Cool. Uh, do we have to put these in a furnace to cook them? I assume we're not eating sushi here, <laughs> but maybe we are. I don't know. Uh, let's try it. Whoa. Hey, we got an achievement. Produce 20,000 iron plates per hour. Wow. That's a lot of iron plates. Uh, okay. Let's grab a furnace and just plop it here for now. Do I have any coal? I have a little. And then, yeah, can I put my fish in here raw fish cannot be smelted uh okay do we just eat it raw really we're doing it like tom hanks in uh uh what was that movie castaway he started out cooking the fish but eventually he just said nah forget that I'm just going to eat it raw. Uh, I don't know. And I don't even know how to 
middle click to clear shortcut when in cursor left click to consume oh so you pick it up and then if i left click i will eat it huh yeah i'm kind of surprised that you don't cook the fish i don't think there's any other items that i would use to cook right i mean we just have furnaces anyway okay so i'll just assume that we eat the raw fish like that and let's go check out down here and then it was space bar to shoot i think so let's check this out oh my gosh um how close can i get to these guys without alarming them i want to see kind of what we're dealing with uh i don't see any nests oh there's one oh they're coming oh i triggered them oh no there's so many Whew, okay, well my armor really helped there, I think. So I was okay. Alright, well this isn't too bad. I think we can take care of this. No problem. And I used about 24 magazines there. For that attack. Okay, well, yeah, that wasn't so bad. Um, also, I know I'm going to need to start exploring over here. Because I'm sure this is just going to keep growing and growing, this pollution cloud. Okay, well, for now, I think we're in a little better shape to go back to making our furnace array. So let's do that. Um... I talked about whether or not to share this output line. I guess we'll try for now. Hopefully I won't regret that later, but let's get our furnaces. And we need to go over one. And we're gonna put a space in between. Whoops. Okay, and then we're gonna have input here and we're going to have two belts and then we're going to have an input here and then the furnace and then we can go back down oops Alright, and then we'll grab our inserters, and we were doing output here, and input here, I guess it's facing the same way, don't know why I rotated it there. And then on this side, it's going to go the other way. go and then we got output on this side it's gonna be so nice once we get bots to do this for us uh, okay and then we need long inserters here and here And then let's do, oh yeah, the power pole situation. I forgot about that already. Um, that was one of the reasons I wanted to go down here was because uh, I was going to maybe get some trees from down here. Um, although the trees are providing nice uh, pollution absorption here. Maybe we'll just do these trees up here for now. I really would like to get away from 
having to cut down any more trees. So I, I re really think we should get going on that, uh, those electrical power poles soon. Okay, they were up here, right? Yeah. I really don't want to chop these down, man. But the factory must grow, right? Sacrifices must be made. And someone mentioned that you can chop dead trees um, because they don't um, absorb as much pollution so you don't lose as much um, benefit from those. But I mean, I don't think, at least I haven't seen yet, that there are any like massively large dead forests where all the trees are dead. I've only seen the occasional ones on the ground here and there. All right, well, at least the um, amount of wood that you get is decent. I already have like, what is that, 448 wood, and it's not too large of an area, and that'll give us a ton of power poles, right? How many can we make? Oh. <laughs> I saw this earlier and I said, oh, I can only make 16. I need wood. Maybe my um, bottleneck wasn't the wood. Maybe it was the copper cable and I didn't actually have to chop down all those trees just now. Oh, man, if that was the case, that's a real bummer. Well, okay. Let's go grab some copper. Oops, I went too far. It's back here. And let's make... Okay, how many can I make now? Yeah, 400. Let's just make like, I don't know, 100 maybe. Um, I don't remember if there was a keyboard shortcut to craft like more than five at a time. I know you can do control, I think it's either control click or shift click to do the whole stack, but I don't want to do that. And I wasn't paying attention to how many I clicked. I think that was more than 100, but that's okay. I think we'll be all right with that. Okay, so let's go back over here. And we will get our power poles down. So those are going to go... Excuse me, here... Uh oh. Um, all right, I'm gonna move these turrets in a second. There we go. And then let's do our belts. I find it easier to keep your mouse cursor in the same place and walk than I do like to, you know, move your mouse cursor down and build and then move it down and build again without moving. I don't know if I'm uh, alone in that, but I find it a lot faster if you don't have to move your mouse very much. So I'm probably going to have a tendency to uh, build things one at a time rather than like building this whole chunk of things like place the furnace, place the place this inserter, place this inserter, place this long inserter, place the power pole. I'd rather just place all the furnaces than place all the inserters on one side like that in sequentially. I don't know. That makes more sense to me. I don't know about you guys. Okay, um, so this one was going to be copper. I think uh, we have everything placed down now, right? We just have to bring the materials. Uh, let's move these first, actually, because 
well, I guess there is no real threat of a biter attack at the moment, but I still want to just do this now so I don't forget. All right, let's get our turrets. Let's put them, I don't know, I guess here maybe. Walls. I think I was one short, wasn't I? Yeah, I should have grabbed another one when I was over there. I forgot. Alright, and then it was control click to do a full stack. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's now... Oh, uh, I forgot the lamps. And I only have four. Uh, so... Let's just make a whole bunch. That's going to take a while. I think I'm going to run out here. Yeah. Oh, well, it just made more. Yeah, five more. All right. One... Two, three, four. Let's wait a second until we get some more. There we go. One, two. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. Cool. Okay. So now let's go bring a copper line over here. Oh, this is going to get nasty uh i mean the plan is to move all this stuff anyway so i guess let's just have it be nasty for a little bit um i guess let's go up th this way and then get our underground doohickey Oh, I forgot about this. I just saw this pop up. You can fast replace a belt with an underground belt. Oh, no, this is different than what I was thinking. And vice versa. Any belts in between the entrance and exit of the underground belt will be mined automatically. This fast replace feature also applies to pipes and pipes to ground. Okay, cool. Now, the thing I thought this was going to say was that you can actually just drag. Like, here, let me remove these real quick and then just grab my belt and if I just drag this across yeah it automatically creates that underground thing so that's pretty cool I forgot it did that so I didn't uh, do it anyway okay um, how do I want to organize these belts does it really matter all that much I don't know it's kind of weird that I've got coal on the top and iron on the bottom, and then I would have copper here. I'd rather have the the ores next to each other, but maybe I'm being too uh, pedantic. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, let's go up one more. And then drag. Yeah, cool. That works. Does it work over chests? Oh, it does. Hey, that's cool. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we might have to reorganize these later. But for now, I guess this is okay. Uh, what are we going to do here? Hmm. Boy, this is getting... I've seen people say spaghetti. Yeah, this is getting very spaghetti-like, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay. And then I'm going to need a splitter for the coal. And I guess in this case, what we would do is we would reroute this one to go straight and that one to go down. Yeah. And then, oh, out of belts. I'm 
many undergrounds do I have? Where are those? Oh, am I out? Yeah, I'm out of those too. So let's make, I guess, the rest of those. Okay. All right. And now we have a little belt, a little amount of belts. Oh, no, wait, stop. I want to keep, try to keep things as consistent as I can. So I had the coal on the other side. So let's go there. And then this is tricky. How do you, I want to try to figure out how I can, excuse me, how I can do this with without like routing this copper up and down. Like, what am I trying to say? I want to try to keep it in a straight line across, except for when it has to branch out. I think I'm going to have to do that with underground tunnels. This is the type of stuff that the idiot comes into play with my playthrough because I just get kind of overwhelmed about how to do this. So let me just kind of remove these for a second. So I think ultimately what we want is we want the copper to come in here and then We, no, not here. I think we want it here. And then this will just go down here. Yeah, that's still a problem because the, the coal, if I put an underground here, I can't, I mean, I can put it here, but I still have to do this weird, like, this. I guess maybe that's okay. Oh, I also, if I want this copper line to keep going, I'm going to need a splitter there, too. Um, can I make any more? No, I need electronic circuits. I got to get rid of this ore in my inventory, too. Um... Yeah, I'm probably going to have to work on refining this system more at some point. But for now, I guess it's okay. Um, let's take these up here. And... I guess I'm going to want these plates on a bus as well, like as part of the bus. And then I can just pull them off when I want to make new factories and stuff. So, well, for now, let's just, um, Go this way, and oh, I, I'm going to need a splitter. I guess I gotta. Well, I, I can get copper plates right here, actually. Let's just grab some. It was um, D, D key. There we go. Okay. Should be able to make some now, I think. Nope, iron plates as well. Okay, I got a chest right here for those. All right, so let's make, I don't know, 10, 20, and more undergrounds. And, all right, so I've got this, these two outputs combined here. I'm out of belts too. 
which I need more iron plates for. Too bad we're stuck waiting for crafting now. Um, let's get rid of some of those splitters for now so I can just get some more belts going. So yeah, I don't really like how these are See the co the uh, coal comes here, but then it goes up. I should have put this one down, but I didn't because I wanted the silver coming in here. So yeah, these are just gonna have to get a bit cleaned up, I think. Or maybe I'm just being too pedantic, I don't know. Does this kind of stuff bother you guys too? <laughs> I think of this kind of like a, like a circuit board, you know, where you want to have it be the most efficient pathways that it can be. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm the only one that thinks that way. Uh-oh, what's this? Three turrets are engaged with the enemy. See the map for more details. Uh, where was that? I have no idea. I hope everything is okay. I wish it would like make a sound or something. Maybe it did and I didn't notice. But like, I don't know. It should have some alarm bells going off, I think. It wasn't any of these. Where did that biter attack come from? It must have come from over here, I guess. Or maybe over here. Because I don't see any nests in our visible area here. All right, well, anyway, um, that stuff finished. Let's um, make some more splitters while we're walking since we got everything we need now, I think. And let's head back up here. And I guess, yeah, for now, we'll just do... Um... How will we do this? Yeah, see, this is another instance where... I mean, I have to have this coming out right here. I can't move that. So, like, I'd have to have the splitter here, I guess. But I don't really... like it there. It's just kind of funny. I guess what I could do well, I was going to say I could put it like here and then route this belt that comes out of the underground thing down and over. But that's not going to help either because Oh, wait a second. Um, let me do that and then pick these up. And what if I just go, whoops, click and drag, right? Yeah, like that. And then this one there, and then this can keep going that way. And then we do the same thing again. And then this one comes there and then it keeps going that way. Yeah. Yeah, that's much cleaner. I like that a lot better. All right, cool. So now let's try out these filter inserters can make a couple of those. That takes a lot of ingredients.
I wonder how slow are these? Um, rotation speed, 864 degrees per second. That's interesting. Okay, they're as fast as fast inserters are, so that's good. Okay, so let's grab those and... Hmm, I was just thinking... These can filter too. Oh, but I guess they only filter one item. It would probably be better to use these. I don't really know. But um, let's just put them here for now. And then we need power to them. I guess we'll do it there. And then I need chests, which I have none. Steel chests. What's the difference? Oh, just bigger capacity. I think I looked at that before and I forgot. Okay. So if we put those there and then we set this. Okay. You could do a whitelist or a blacklist. Interesting. So we want to set this. Oh, I guess we use our inventory to do it. No. Oh, do you put it here? Aha. You do. Okay. And then this one will be copper. And we need to extend the belts. There we go. I wonder if we will run into issues where this gets backed up. I, no, I guess. I was thinking like if there was only copper here, but no, because it would still put it into the chest. I guess the only time we'd run into an issue is if one chest was full and the other one wasn't. That might uh, cause a backup. But um, anyway, yeah, that's looking pretty good, I think. They are doing their thing. Cool. Okay. So now with the remaining time we have, I'm conflicted on whether I want to move these machines over or explore. I kind of think I need to explore these areas just so I know what I'm dealing with. And I might be able to take care of some of these. They might not be that big of a threat. Based on what my last attack was like, my armor held up really well. So I might be okay. So yeah, let's let's uh, explore. Um, let's grab all of these, just in case. And head out to the east. And I don't really want to deal with forests. Is this me? Wait, where am I? Is this yellow dot me? Yes. Okay. Um, okay. There's no for no huge forests this way. So that's good. And someone else mentioned that um, the grass, I, I was talking about grass versus desert and how I didn't think it made a difference, but apparently it does. Apparently this, even this grass uh, does absorb pollution. So it's kind of a bummer that I started out in a desert. It would have been a lot nicer to, to be in a, in like a grasslands type area. So that's a bummer. But I guess we could always move the factory later, right? Okay, we have biters coming. Now, how bad is this going to get? I don't know. How many nests are over here? Ooh, there's like four. Ooh. Okay, this could be bad. Do 
doing okay so far. Oh, they have those spitter things. Oh, that hurt. Oh no. Oh, you gotta really dodge those things. Oh yeah, you can't be shooting and move fast enough to... Oh, yikes. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. <gasps> no! Oh, man. Ah, oh, game finished. Well, okay. Whew, we can respawn. It's not like permanent death. Restart level, load game, or respawn. Oh, man. What kind of consequence is is it to die? Oh, that's a real bummer. I wish I had gotten my fish ready to eat. Um, okay, well, if we hit respawn... You died. Bad luck. Respawn in three, two, one. Okay. Do we lose all our items? Oh no, we do lose all our items. Oh, that's painful. That is so painful. Is this a situation where you can go recover your body? I don't know. Oh man. Okay. Well... I guess we're going to have to start from square one and build uh, or craft some weapons again. Um, gosh. Okay. So I need copper, iron, and gears. Gears are up here. All right, so let's build a submachine gun. I keep saying build instead of craft, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to need a ton more magazines again. And I need heavy armor, which requires steel plates. I think I have some of those still. Yeah, I got a little bit. I never did hook this up, so I don't have too many. Ooh, radar. What is that? Scans the nearby sectors and actively reveals an area around it. Really? Oh, well, maybe I don't have to walk all the way over there. Is this where I died? I think it is. Yeah, that is a pretty big uh, nest. Those spitter thingies, whatever those were, really got me. Ooh, there's stone over there, though. That's cool. I have not seen any more iron, which is a little concerning. Okay, we're almost done crafting some magazines. How many do I have? I guess I've got 200 and some change. Okay, and then our armor. Does it go automatically in the slot? Yes, it does, cool. Okay. Um, let's go grab some fish. See if I can actually use them this time. I find that happens a lot when I play video games is I do all this planning and preparation and then when it actually comes to it, I like completely forget everything I prepared and just, you know, uh, die apparently. <laughs> Ay ay ay. Okay. Uh, can I reach that guy? I cannot. Well, okay. I've got 10 anyway. Oh, there's another nest over here. Can I switch these? Okay, I can. Yeah, these are starting to pop up a lot more frequently. I 
think I'm going to have to get some stronger firepower here. a long time to take those out and a lot of ammo too all right now let's yeah I'm gonna need even more ammo let's just Let's just craft all of that. Another commenter mentioned that you shouldn't expand too far too fast. And I think I'm experiencing that, uh, <laughs> that problem because, yeah, these biter attacks are starting to get gnarly. All right, so I don't think I'm going to be able to take out these nests, but I want to see if my body is over there and I can recover my items. I really hope so. Uh, I'd have to go up and over. Yeah. Can I go through here? Yeah. All right. Let's go down. I think I was south of the nests, right? Oh, boy. Here they come. Uh, big rock. I don't remember exactly where I died. I'm not seeing my body anywhere. Oh, I can stay out of range of that spitter, though. That's good. Maybe I will be able to do it if I do it like this. Be a little more uh, tactical about it. Okay, there's one. Oh, was that? Oh, wow, they can spit really far. Ah! go that's two and I'm still doing okay on ammo all right can we get rid of this thing oh if you step in that spit it hurts you maybe that's how I died Oh, 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 yeah, that stuff hurts. Let's get our fish. Oh, yeah, if you just click it, it does consume the fish. Okay, cool. Ow. Did I get it? Okay, good. One nest left. There we go. Whew. Okay, so the unfortunate news is I don't see a body anywhere. Unless I'm totally blind. Big rock. Big rock. It's here. I mean, it does work that way in 
Minecraft 2, which is the other game I play obsessively. And uh, I mean, there are mods that do it. And I'm sure there are probably mods that do it in Factorio, but I guess by vanilla standards, it doesn't leave your body with your items. So that's uh, quite a loss. I, I had a ton of stuff on me, man. All right. Well, if I'm wrong and you did see my body over there, I would love to know, but I'm guessing it's not there and we are just, we just lost that stuff. So that is a real bummer. Um, okay, let's go actually north and check if there's any more nests up here. And I did ask the question on whether I should play zoomed in or out. And I only got one comment on that so far, but the one comment I got said zoomed out so that the people who are experts can kind of get the big picture. And I, I kind of like that answer because I think it is easier to play zoomed out than it is zoomed in. I mean, it, it's probably good to zoom in sometimes if you need to like see some details on something, but for the most part, I'll probably play it around this zoom level, maybe in one more, maybe something like that. I don't know, but uh, that's good to know. Okay, so we don't really need to explore a ton down here, although I kind of really wanted to find another iron just to see where we're going to eventually go to next. And plus, it would be, be nice to square off the map again. Oh, we have more coal. Okay. How big is this coal patch? 5.2 million. Jeez. Okay. That's a lot. Okay. Well, we squared it off, but still no iron. Crazy. Okay. I guess it's more of a rectangle now, but that works. Um, I need to explore up here too, though. So let's go do that real quick, and then we'll probably call the episode there for today. I wish I had that vehicle. The, uh, what did they call it? Autom automization? Uh, automobilism. <laughs> yeah. That's such a funny thing to call that. Oops. What did I just do? Oh, I guess I was still in map mode or something. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, okay. Let's go back up. I like this lake over here. It's nice. Now oh, we got a cliff here. Okay, is that far enough? Probably. Let's go one more, maybe. One more chunk. Are these called chunks? I assume they're called chunks. Each, like, map tile. Or maybe they're just called map tiles. I don't know. Anyway, in Minecraft, they're called chunks. And that's kind of my basis of knowledge. Um, ooh, this is going to be gnarly to walk through, though. I see one biter nest north of me. Doesn't look too big, though. And yeah, there's one over here by this lake, which does look big. I think we can handle it though. Oh, we got another spitter guy. Does it say oh ouch 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 ouch? Does it say what these things are actually called? Let's 
get our fish. Small worm. Okay, they're called worms. And then these are spitter spawner. I guess I should get rid of the worms first. Oh, 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 oh. Eat some fish. Run away, run away. Okay, I got one worm. That's good. There we go. Okay, I think I can get the rest now without too much trouble. Yeah, those worms hurt a lot. You really gotta watch out for the acid on the ground, too. Still doing okay on ammo, which is kind of surprising, but good. We go. All right. Uh, let's just keep going and square this off again. What is that green thing there? Uranium ore. Okay. We can make nuclear stuff. There we go. I can't believe there's no iron. That is crazy. We're going to have to travel really far when this uh, iron patch runs out. Kind of scary. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I think that will do it for today. So let's take a kind of an assessment here. So we still have... Spiders here. We have some here. Pollution is going this direction. Big nest here. I do not think I'll be able to take care of that um, with my current setup. I'm probably going to need some, like, I don't know. I saw we could make grenades before. Maybe I need grenades or something. But um, anyway, and then we got this one up here, so... Our pollution cloud is definitely growing very fast. So anyway, uh, yeah, that will do it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your comments and your likes and everything. And I hope to see you in the next episode. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.